And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for round number five. Our final round, we are currently two and two. We're going to try to win this, get three wins because three wins gives you a card back. Um, and of course, this tournament's just been a lot of fun, so it's good to play this other round. We have been eliminated from winning the tournament, of course, with our losses. Um, round number four, as y'all watching later on YouTube, you know that I didn't put up a video for round four. And you can see here it says we won a three and oh, that's because our opponent did not show up. So that my opponent must have been one, you know, they were one and two and quit and they didn't show up for round four. So we got a free win. Um, and now we are here in round five. All right, so let's see how we do for the fifth and final round. We are ready. Okay. Um, three kind of different decks, you know, a bunch of aggro and stuff. I think I'm going to ban the Go Hard deck, actually, and just try to beat Draven Jinx and Tom Kench Jiraka. I'm not banning Tom Kench Jiraka, so it's it's one of these two. Um, maybe, maybe I should ban Draven Jinx. I'm not sure. It's one of those two. But I'm going to go ahead and write down, you get to see the deck list for five minutes, so I'm going to write these down. Um, so I'm, Because I'm definitely playing this. So I'm going to go ahead and write... Uh, and I'm, I'm doing this a little bit different. I'm writing... Um, before I was writing them in like the three ofs in one column and the two ofs in another column. But I think it's better to kind of... I want to keep like the curve of like seeing their their units and their spells. So I have their units in one column and spells in the other. And it, it just doesn't um, take too long to write down one, two, or three. You know, like that, it's just really easy to do that. So instead of me kind of going back and forth trying to find like spells or unit or something like that, three hush and, hmm. Okay, not going to ban that deck. Um, they're going with Withering, couple withering whales, two vengeance, two ruination. Yeah, I'm gonna ban the go hard deck. We haven't had too much success against go hard today. So two precious, two rummage, three zonite, three battlecaster. I'm just going to put Battle C. Three Flame. House S. I just put it, I'm basically writing down the first name and then the first letter of the second name. So House S, Flame C, Arena B. Because, of course, I'll, I'll know what that is. But if you just write down the one word, you maybe get like a little confused. So I'm writing down. That should just be Jinx and Augmented Experimenter. I would, like I mentioned in one of the other videos, I would prefer if, if the deck list weren't open. All right, yeah, let's get this win, get this card back. So we're going to have to beat Tom Kench Soraka and uh, Discard Burn. I hate three Hush, th three Box to So cards I don't, I hate Box to Puss, Hush, and, you know, Tom Kench and Starspring. Those are the cards I hate the most. Here... I also hate Shakedown. Shakedown's great. And obviously this deck, just Draven, Jinx. Super, super good. Alright, mine's locked in. Darn. Okay. Um, let's lead with... Lead with Poros. Let's do it. All right, Poros. Yeah, I th the the thing about this, of course, is this is like those deck those cards that I don't like. So we have like good elusives. I really like the elusives, but um, man, it's thermogenic beam's kind of weird. The things are usually too big. Um, I really don't want to see, you know, like, Hush, Hush is a huge beating in this one, and so is Box to Puss with the challenge. Oh, I want Elusive. No, that's tough. Okay. 
cool. Maybe no box to puss. Alright, let's get elusive with the por patch portal bot. Challenger. Lifesteal. I guess technically Challenger could be decent. Could go Challenger. I don't know if challenging those things is really that useful. So I'll go ahead and play the spell shield. No elusive regeneration and fury. I am here to help. Fury isn't a very useful keyword. Regeneration's pretty good though. So pill cascade. I guess pill cascade does kill my thing. Now guiding touch is good. Just take five. Yep. You're right. Should try to keep this wide board for give it all. I need I need larger things though. I'm doing this my way. It's like I, I will find the goodness in you, River King. Who only provides temporary sustenance, child? Oh, I hate that. Where there's a will, there's a meal. I don't want to attack into hush. Poor about a scout. Allow me a small sample. Is it the mustache? Who knows? Pablo's been down, but his knee out. Ouch. Ah, I told your ancestors to protect. And Boxtopus is good. Where are you off to? Why not? I had no good. I had no good attacks. Like, I guess. What did you want me to attack with the daring Poro last turn? I, I didn't want daring Poro to die to, um, die to hush. When I have give it all, I can't. I can't just let it die to hush. That really hurts. I really wanted that Braum so that, like, if they do hush my elusive, you know, I had that challenger regeneration. Oh, I don't require all that kind of stuff. I guess we already have. We will have regeneration. I had a really good hand. I mean, that that was just a great turn for them, right? Like the the pill cascade. Tom Tom Kench, box to puss, pill cascade. Uh, hate those cards. Yeah, and they had hush. They just they just had it all. Whenever I listed the cards I don't like in their deck, they had every single one of them. Hush, Box to Puss, Tom Kench, Star Spring. Those are the cards they can win, and they just had one of one of every single one. So this next turn, you know, the Daring Poro, we can maybe give them all elusive now. Because they all have Spell Shield, which should hopefully help out. So th this could still work out really well for me. Like, if they don't have another, if they do not have another Hush, they're dead, right? Like, what else saves them? Shakedown, uh, Shakedown could help. Put me in 
Tommy boy! Oh, I'll be happy to accommodate, Pablo. I don't know if anything saves them now. Yeah, they, they need, like, Shakedown Hush. Okay. So these are all four fives now. And now they all have Elusive and Spell Shield and Scout. So, Hill Cascade is their best card right now. They've already played one. They need Pale Cascades on these to take out, take them out. So hopefully no Pale Cascade. Nah, there's one. Really hope they don't have another. Please don't have all three Pale Cascades. I do enjoy prospecting. They need to be casting these acquired tastes just to get rid of the spell shields. I hope they don't. Just pass turn, that'd be great. Put me in, Tommy boy. Oh, I'll be happy to accommodate Pablo. Hush is the only thing that saves them, as far as I can tell. Yeah, they're they're too far away from winning. Plenty of room I this is gonna create one poro snack, so I will I will be able to cast a poro snack. And girl, these things to be five. And it's all up to Hush. It's only two more in the deck. Where there's a will, huh. there's just a, a regular Poro Snack. I guess I just cast that one. Beep, 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 beep. So these are elusive. So they can't block them. And they have Scout. So they get to attack again. So the scout's pretty clutch. Even if they do, you know, like, hush this one, they still take 15 and I attack again. Yeah, I like this matchup too with the Poro deck. Take heart. But I, I was a little sad there for a little bit because they did, you know, they had, like, the cards they needed and they shut me down. But I I did have this... this the, what was key is I had the second give it all, right? Like, if I, if I only had one give it all... This would have been tougher, but the second give it all was, was clutch. All right, awesome. Tarek Draven, it's up to you, bud. Just gotta win one of these two. Get us that card back, Tarek Draven. You can do it. And <laughs> GG, Poro wins again. Calling strike is good. Ours is the one true light. So how it's stopping like this? It looks like they have a crusty codger in hand. So they're considering playing or or not. Or, I mean, crusty codger and shakedown are their only cards they can cast right now. There's the Krusty Codger. So that's... So we're just even right now. We both have... One drop. My two mana spell traded for their two mana spell. I'm glad they didn't have Guiding Touch or Hush. I am here to help. Because those cards... Um, Guiding Touch and Hush would have traded with my two drop Stars. and would have uh, drawn a card. Raise your weapon, Sunwood. Yes. Yes. Guess I'm gonna double spell 
on this attack turn instead of just playing a 3 4. Our mountain girls are full of dangers, but I know them all. Punish transgressions. Don't touch my flock. I am playing three cooling strikes in here. That was there's that one slot that we tried out some different stuff like the Legion Saboteur and things like that. I decided before the tournament just to play a third cooling strike. So even though I use like I think Soraka is pretty awesome, and so you, but yeah, I didn't have I didn't have a cooling strike for Tom Kench, but um, didn't feel too bad about that. Uh, they could pass and make me waste two mana. I don't really want to play one of these things, and then they pale cascade this box to puss. Also, don't really want to calling strike that. Yeah, they make me waste two mana. Yeah, I still had Broadback Protector die, so that's good for me. So these four cards in hand are probably spells. So could have Shakedown. There we go, Astral Protection. That card's very good. So they played... One Vigor... One protection. Okay, this is the last last time I'm playing this deck. I can kind of just change the numbers for everything that they've played. Okay. This sets up a really good calling strike on this 3-8 box to post because this is 5-1 Overwhelm. So that's just a really nice calling strike there. Get that 5 damage in. Alright. Play to Star Spring. I bring clarity. Yeah, they're, they look like they're in trouble. So we can safely assume both cards in hand are not units, because they would have played the unit first and then played Fortune Croaker, so we can safely assume they're not units. We're looking at, you know, Shakedown, Guiding Touch, Hush. Probably not Guiding Touch either. Uh, so, well, maybe, I guess. Um, just Farron makes sense. They have just units that are like spells in hand. It sure does. Alright, they're drawing cards. Looking for some help. Did not find another blocker. Devotion to battle. Hmm. Shatter them. Break their backs. Unyielding. I don't think like I, I don't think any of these things being tough really matters. Like that's all Tarek does is give something tough. I don't think anything gives tough. Um, spinning axe does not copy over. If I had spinning axe to Tarek, it doesn't copy over because it does target two things. All right, there we go. We have defeated Tom Kench Soraka. GG. Yeah, once I once I cooling striked that Soraka, I think that really threw off their hand. That's what it felt like. Okay, and we won the last round. I can let's see if I see. There we go. Round five, we won at 2-0. Okay, so we went three and two, so we will get the card back for the tournament. Really fun. There we go. Fun experience there with the tournament. That was really cool. Um uh, you call it Taraka Sam? <laughs> no, Saraka Tom. Um, Thomas Kench. 
So yeah, really fun experience here with this tournament. So this is something we get to look forward to every two months with each expansion. We're going to have our next expansion is going to be coming out for Legends of Runeterra on December 16th. So that's in 10 days from recording this. Um, so like basically the next, next Wednesday, not this upcoming Wednesday, but the Wednesday after that. So that's really exciting. We got our first trailer uh, about that on the Legends of Runeterra um, YouTube channel. That was our, the first channel or the first trailer for that set. So, or that expansion, <laughs> that's right. So each, a set is three expansions. And so uh, this is the next small expansion. So then we're gonna have our next tournament like this in February. So learned a lot. I think that um, to kind of wrap up my decks, I think that I shouldn't, I think the Poro deck ended up not being strong enough to be honest. I was happy with Tarek Draven, even though we did, even though like the round three was us losing twice with, with Tarek Draven, but I was still happy with the deck. And of course I was happy with mid-range Frostbite, but I think I should have played a Demacia deck. I'm definitely a Demacia player. So I think I should have played my Fiora Dragon deck. If I had to do it over again, this is what I would have chosen for the other deck. Fiora, Fiora's Dragon, uh, Fiora Dragons, I really like this deck. Um, this this version is like specifically built with Go Hard in mind with the chain vests. Uh, but yeah, I think I think I should have played that deck instead of Poros Give It All. But you know, Poros Give It All is a lot of fun, and you know, I y'all know me. I don't like playing like the most popular type type decks, and I like bringing some uh, some meme tier stuff and trying to win at tournaments with that. And so, um, Give It All is a card that's super powerful. We saw that with our round five against the Soraka Tom Kench deck of how powerful that Give It All was. And so that's what, that's what I liked really about that Poro deck is it had a card that was ridiculously powerful with that Give It All. And I thought that could steal some games and it did there, but just overall, I, I think that, well, I think it was a lot better like two weeks ago. I think over the last like two weeks, where the metagame turned ended up for this tournament, I think it was pretty hostile to that Poro deck, and I should have um, gone away from it. But you live, you learn. You know, this is the first time um, with these kind of weird pick and ban tournaments and stuff here for Legends of Runeterra. So we'll be back at it in two months, um, next February, and uh, play that one. But a lot of fun. Glad we got our three wins and the card back. <clears throat> so. There we go. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and uh, leave those comments. Let me know what you thought of these videos and um, you know tournaments, that kind of stuff. What'd you play? Um, were you hyped for the next one? Hyped for the new set? Anything like that? Love seeing those comments. But thank you so much for watching the seasonal tournament and I'll see you for the next video.